Hey guys, my name is Sam Snight, and welcome back to Vamp- Whoa, welcome back to Vampire. I should- I think it's a good idea for me to wait, like, 30 seconds before starting the intro, because- Because it, like, always takes a second to, like, load everything in. Oh, good lord. I'm not about to read all that. What are you? I think I read this? Answer the door. What a task. Okay. I will eat your face. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Oh. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned mall behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way, then. Thank you, nurse. So... They sealed off the morgue for sanitary reasons. I can only assume that means... <laughs> that they're still oozing rotten bodies still in the morgue. That they have just not dealt with how do you go about dealing with that though like what's step one in massive body disposal probably call the authorities and let them deal with it that that would be what I would do I need stuff I need stuff there isn't stuff okay well it's locked of course it's locked. Why isn't Scour voices in the garden? I should investigate. What if are they were you? To find somebody. I killed him without getting hit. Watery, sturdy blood sample. First off, how did water get in there? Okay, okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Ow. Whoa. Just you and me. What's wrong with your arms? Can you eat other vampires? I guess you can. Okay. I don't know why I choose to do something like that. <laughs> Aww. Local, a uh, new citizen investigation is available. What is that? Uh, okay. Neat. I don't know what to do, though. Ah! This. This. Ooh! I don't know how to go about doing it though. Bring the wallet back to its owner. Okay. Uh, I'll do that first. Side quest over main quest always and forever. Everyone knows that. I broke that just by walking near it. Watch, ready? 
Lead stick. I found a lead stick. Wait, where did the... Where did the owner of the wallet... Oh, he's 50 meters this way? You're about to die, bitch. I'm cool. How do I get inside? I can pull Salem's lot and like tap on the window all creepy like. That'd be nice. Uh, I probably gotta go in the hospital. Now when I spin like this, the game runs funny. Just so we're aware, that's not the recording, that's the game. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to bring the wallet back to its owner, but he's all the way over there, and I don't know how to get to him. I think... I might have to... Hmm. Did I just lose the entire hospital? I feel like I lost the hospital. Whoa. Uh. What am I doing here? Stay in Oh. Why does that keep opening itself? I need to get in the hospital. Okay, so... I'm like right on top of him, apparently. Who does it belong to? Is it you? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Oh, that's right. I can get this stuff now. He gave me money for giving it back. Well, that felt kind of, uh... Oh, I get experience for doing that kind of shit. Okay, that's why I'm going to do it. I'm not going to really do it for the money. I'm going to do it more for the experience to level up my vampiric abilities. Because like I said, I want to be more powerful than Count Dracula at the end of this playthrough. But at the same time, I don't think I can really do that without being a total scumbag. So far, so good. I don't really want to continue on the path that I've accidentally chosen thus far. Ah! Okay, why he are the benches so fragile? <laughs> oh, the amount of XP you get from the citizens you choose to embrace is directly linked to their blood quality. I might eat some really good people then. Like some top of the line blood quality people, but leave all the others. Because I'm not going to ruin a city, because that's not what Dracula would do. The game's running significantly better in here, and I don't know why. I like it, though. I think it might have less to load in. Somehow I feel like I'm not alone in here. Is that just me? Okay, I'm hearing screechy screamies. Ah, my freaking wrist, that hurt. I don't know what happened, but it's like a spasm that hurt. Oh, everything's upstairs except... That's upstairs, that's upstairs, that's downstairs. Okay, so how do I get to any of those places? Come on. It's locked, all right. It's always locked. Oh, hello. It's gonna walk quietly up to you. So I. Uh. 
I'm going to kill him. Oh, 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 Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. How many, like, rabid vampires are running around here? Mm hmm. I cannot enter. Oh lord. Hey. Ooh, shiny. Yeah. Bottle of alcohol. Oh, this key will surely grant me access to the basement. Whoa. Hello. I'm trying to get everything. I don't want to leave anything behind. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Watery rich blood sample. I don't know what all that stuff does. Yet. Is there a way to look into my inventory? I want to use this. How do I equip this? See, like, I'm using the common machete right now. Literally my worst weapon. I don't know how to switch. That is my one single issue with this game. It did not, and if it, it probably did tell me how to do it, and I just wasn't paying attention. What was that? I just healed myself. Okay. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. You could have fooled me. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! On all all fronts. Got him. Ooh. Now I saw another boy run. There's another dude down there. These guys sound like the zombies from, uh. Well, zombie, actually. Uh oh. There's another one. Ow, damn it. Get off of me. I can't see. Oof. <laughs> Ow. Healing is good for you. There we go. Let's see what I can see. Oh, hey. Uh, he was a fisherman. Fast progressing pneumonia. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Ooh. The chest was originally opened to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. 
Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Ooh. Whoa! Oh god, that my reflection scared the shit out of me. I thought vampires weren't supposed to have reflections. I feel a boss fight. What did I just say? Oh, that's what I forgot about doing that. I got away from you. Oh. Wow. Anyone else? These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. But to drink blood is so tempting. It is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm really thinking about drinking people. Now. This is important. I did find out there are four different endings to this game, depending on how many people you drink. One ending is drink nobody, and one ending is drink everybody, and then there's two that are in the middle, somewhere. Obviously, I'm going to get one of those two middle endings, because I've already drank somebody. Uh... Shit. How do I craft the... Thing. Wait a minute. I gotta make sure that's everything up in here. It looks like nothing else is glowing. Alright. I like being in an enclosed space where the entire map doesn't have to load in because then the frames are better and the game doesn't like get upset. Is a oh wait, I didn't go in here or did I? I want all the ex oh I did go in here. I want every experience point I can possibly get. Ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. I got three shillings. That wasn't worth it. But I mean what is worth it exactly? Like And dead. Drop item. Dimitri, get this game. It's real good. I see you, bitch. You think you're gonna get away? You ain't. You ain't. You ain't. I need more stamina, bruh. Like, bad. It's like genuinely, not even joking, it's a problem. I need blood as well. Yum, 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 yum. Punch, punch, punch. I'm just gonna drink this vampire to death. Ow. Ow. Drinky, drinky, drinky. And now we're gonna slice you to death, bitch. And now I'm gonna heal myself. Okay, hang on. I like... I really, truly, genuinely want to figure out how to, um, but how do I get where I'm supposed to get? I think it's upstairs. Uh, I, I really do want to figure out how to change my equipped weapon. Cause look, main hand, clickies, right here, this boy. Oh, wait a minute. Well, shit. Uh... Ooh.
Oh, does that mean I can't have... This is a two-handed weapon. Okay, now I'm starting to get it. Now I'm, I'm genuinely understanding the game. That's cool. That's, that's really cool. Where is the thingy? Soon! <laughs> I kind of want to know when I was getting off. <laughs> I got like, yeah, probably 10 minutes left. Uh, I got to figure out how to... Do I need to get out? I broke the bench. I don't know how to get off. I don't know how to... I think it's out of the building. I don't think it's in this building anymore. Yeah, no. Or, no, it might be. Oh, that might be the door out of here. I might need to get out and craft the thing for the thing. I don't know. I don't know where the door is. Is this the door? This is the door. I knew I'd find it. Huh. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, it's been a long ass week. Uh, Pembroke Hospital. No. Okay, it's not in where I just was. I've gotta go this way. I've gotta go this way. Run, 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 run. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, what's in this garbage can? You see, it, it, it runs badly out here. That's, like, undeniable. Wow. Please, go back home. That's cold, man. So I just wanna... I wanna eat somebody. Okay, wait. Time out. I'm gonna eat someone. I need... I need juice. Uh, let's figure out who... Not the local investigations. The the people. The this. He's a doctor. Oh, his blood quality is really good. Oh, I might. I like him though. He sells me stuff. Oh, this boy. Oh, maybe it's not a good idea. Oh, I shouldn't eat people. Okay, it's upstairs somewhere. I think I have to actually go back to my room. Who are you? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Hmm. I think I'm gonna kill her. For a thousand experience? Shit, yeah. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you. To care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. 
I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand. I'm going to eat this woman, I think. Mortality. I'm going to and murder her. It is I who am delusional. Whoops. And what? I don't need to. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Wait, didn't I just get a hint? How is she healthy? I'm gonna like she she needs to stop talking about vampires because she's gonna get people upset. I'll leave you. Okay, so that's something I'm looking into. I might need to just spend a whole episode just talking to everyone. Not now, but like soon. So I can learn a little bit about everyone, try and like up their blood quality so that's how, that way I can eat everyone and become the strongest thing to ever walk the earth. That sounds like a good ending to me. I'm in my room. Mm hmm. Crafting for fatigue. Uh. What are you? Oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to be do cure oh here we go. There we go. I did that. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane. Hang on, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna evolve really quick. Oh man, you look bad. Alright. Um Ooh. Let's see. I really want more stamina. I want more stamina. Let's see. Boom. I need level 8 for that. So I have max stamina as of right now. Uh, I don't really want health right now. I could, uh... Oh, I need more tactical stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You perform a supernatural move to your target. Oh, that's cool. Uh, defensive. Create an invisible barrier, absorbing the direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Blood capacity. That's really good. Can I find something else for 300? Wah! No. Uh, yes! The damage that biting causes. Okay, I just upgraded a lot of stuff. Good. Now, I'm gonna take this medicine to where I'm supposed to take it. I'm going to run to the end of this side mission. I'm going to do the side mission, and then I'm going to take this message where it goes, and then I'll end the episode. 
Nope. 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 Uh, how do I move around the map? Oh, right. Okay. Is where am I supposed to go? Where are my quests? Where's like my list of quests? I know I have one of those, right? I have one of those. This guy, yeah. Aren't I supposed? To, did everything freeze? Oh no, my game crashed. Okay, I'm back in. That was weird and dumb and stupid. But it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to go check out what that white marker is. Take care of that. Come back here. Give the medicine. Oh. Oh, Who's yelling for help? Because... I'll pretend to help and then I'll eat people. Alright. The white marker's this way. I'm now level 8, doot doot. I'm level 8, doot doot. I don't want to walk, I want to jog. Vampires jog everywhere. Always running, always running, always running, always running. District status is serious. I can hear you. Shit, this guy's like intense. He's level 18! Get my stamina juice back. Uh, oh, that was awesome! <laughs> wow! I love this weapon. Oh. Wet boot boys note. Uh, okay. Can I go around people now? Oh, why not, though? Like, I don't understand how you know what I am ah shit ah shit ah shit how do you know what I am <laughs> Chet might be the teleporting Woo! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Oh! Damn it! I don't want to kill these these guys. They seem like nice gentlemen. Ow! But at the same time, all I was doing was walking around. Oh! I want more blood. Oh, that hurt a lot. That was really cool, though. I don't think coming here was the best of ideas. 
I have a quest 200 and something. I'm not strong enough to be here, I don't think. I legitimately think I need to go eat people before coming here. That was not easy. In fact, that was almost deadly. They're 10 plus levels above me. This is a mistake. I will upgrade with what I have before continuing, but I'll do that at the very end. And right now, I'm just going to take this medicine where it goes. See, this district status is healthy, so I can eat a couple people and it'd be fine. Oh, that one, that woman. What was her name? Dorothy? Oh, she's really important, though. I'm not going to eat her. She holds this place together. What about this boy? He's a patient. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagree about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Oh, stop trying to make me feel guilty about the decisions I'm making. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes. yes you've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Diseases... Diseases decreased blood quality. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Oh! So if I heal him, I can get more experience for eating him. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. The last time I met someone named Mortimer, my fiance then got really mad at me because I fell in love with him. If you remember that from Dimitri's super old Terraria series. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How pain so painful. I'll let Don't waste your time with me. Who are you? Good evening, Matt. It's my son. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Okay. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of Yes. 
Damn, a lot of hints required. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Ugh. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Damn. Goodbye, okay. Mrs. Goswick. Don't waste your time with me. Okay. So that happened. What's happening? Blood temptation. Oh. We can handle this. I want. I want to know everyone's blood quality, so I know who I should be eating. Oh, Mortimer's is is garbage. He ain't even worth it. She's worth it, and I'm gonna do it. Shit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna f I'm gonna talk to this Edgar fella, and then that'll be it for this episode. But the next episode will be about all about learning about everything about this place. There's not gonna be much action in the next episode, but there's gonna be a lot of uh, I'm gonna learn about everything I can here. I'm gonna juice myself up. Here we go. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to the <coughs> situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. 
something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay, so... That's what I'm going to do in the next episode. For right now, I'm going to head back to my room. Where's my room? I think my room's... A ah! I think my room is uh, right here. Yes. Uh, I need to heal. Heal. Fine. Sleep then. Maybe I'll get... I have enough experience to juice up my bite. No, I don't. Almost. Uh, what is this? Okay, wait a sec. Hmm. 600. 600. Big thirst. Increase your blood absorption. That's what I like. All right. All right. That's it for this episode. We're going to... Basically, the next episode might be your kind of thing. If you want to learn about every person in this game, it might be the most boring episode you've ever watched. It all depends on what you like. So be sure to check in for that, because I want to see you there.